morning, my dear grade 11 senior high school students of Earth and Life Science. Welcome to the new topic for the week. This is your teacher, Queen Queen, and I'll be much willing to help each one of you to unlock the difficulties for this subject. Are you now ready to learn? Please prepare all the materials and your notebooks before we will start. We are now on lesson 4 for module 1 in quarter 1. The title of the topic is the uniqueness of Earth. We know the fact that Earth is the planet where we live. The big question before we start is what makes our planet unique? As we go along to our lesson this morning, you will be able to know what are the properties and characteristics that makes our planet unique. I know that you are very excited to learn. With that, without further ado, let's start our lesson. of sustaining life because of the right combination of elements, molecules, and ions that react under the right physical conditions to make up the processes supportive to life. There are many reasons which make Earth suitable for life. Number one is the distance of the Earth from the Sun. The Earth and the Sun are equally important because without the Sun's heat and light, the Earth would be a lifeless ball of ice-coated rocks. It regulates the temperature of water bodies, weather patterns, and provides energy to the growth of plants. The distance of the Earth from the Sun makes it the perfect reason for the light because it receives the perfect amount of heat and light to allow light to be created and to support it. Number two, we have the light on the Earth. Earth is the only planet that uses the sun's light as useful as a source of energy. That energy is used to convert elements by leaving things into a usable form. A plant uses the energy provided by the sun to drive photosynthesis and provide food to grow. As a byproduct, oxygen is released which we use as an energy source of our own. Number three, we have the Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is the layer of gases surrounded the Earth that consists of exosphere, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, and troposphere. The air content and favorable atmospheric pressure also supported life of most creatures. The air content of carbon dioxide on the Earth is less than that of planets like Venus and Mars. Hence, the less air content of carbon dioxide helps to moderate the Earth's temperature and is absorbed by plants during photosynthesis to produce oxygen. Number four is the presence of the ozone layer. Ozone layer is a part of Earth's atmosphere situated in an area known as the stratosphere. 
It makes protecting life on Earth from its potentially harmful effects of shorter wavelengths and highly hazardous ultraviolet radiation or UVR from the sun. As we all know that the sun is the primary source of energy to the Earth, but the only planet that optimizes the amount of heat and light which is necessary for the life process. The sun emits enormous heat and light that also consists of ultraviolet radiation or UV rays which we can see or feel. Only about 1% of the ultraviolet radiation that the sun sends to the earth actually reaches the surface. Small amounts of exposure to UV rays are beneficial. They cause the body to produce vitamin D, which has several health benefits. But you know what? If we get more than amount of what we getting will not give more vitamin D, but causes serious issues on our skin and health. Number five is we have favorable climatic condition. The Earth has a suitable climate for the existence of all forms of life because of moderate amount of carbon dioxide, which is a driving factor for the survival of life forms. The temperature of planet Mercury ranges from 200 degrees Celsius below freezing to 375 degrees Celsius above. At 375 degrees Celsius, the water would only exist as a gas, and the planet would be completely dry. Venus has a surface temperature of 480 degrees Celsius, which would be much too hot for anybody to live in. On the other hand, Mars, although it can reach 25 degrees Celsius, is usually freezing and can be as cold as negative 140 degrees Celsius, a temperature which would freeze blood and water. Other planets are colder still. Number six is we have water. Water is life, as the most famous quote says. It's very important for life because it contains the oxygen needed for life and allows life providing molecules to move around easily. The Earth's water is consists of 97% ocean, 2% glaciers, and 1% rivers, lakes, and ground water. It continually changes its form through the water cycle. The process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans, atmosphere, and land is known as the water cycle. The major sources of fresh water are the rivers, ponds, springs, and glaciers. The ocean bodies and the seas contain salty water. The water of the ocean is salt or saline as it contains a large amount of dissolved salts. Most of the salt is sodium chloride or the common table salt that we eat. Number seven is the force of attraction or the Earth's gravitational pull. Think of a second why. Why water flows from up to downwards? Why don't float in the air? What hold our atmosphere? Why we walk on the surface not floating in the air? The sun's gravitational pull keeps our planet orbiting the sun and the earth firmly hold everything from topography to all forms of life through its gravitational pull. The force of gravity doesn't 
just keep us anchored to the ground, but also affects our biological system. Hence, we can say Earth is the only planet which hosts liquid water on its surface, allowing for a direct transfer of energy from the sun in order for photosynthetic life forms to evolve. It has a unique surface which neither too hot nor too cold for the occurrence of complex biochemical processes. I hope that you have learned a lot from the video lesson that I personally recorded, edited, directed for you, my dear grade 11 students. That would be all for today. See you all tomorrow. And please do not forget to subscribe in this channel for more videos. And also, uh, please see the description below for the online assessment after the lesson. Thank you and get this